My name is Dan Eagle. I'm a vegetable plant pathologist with Purdue University. I'm located at the Southwest Purdue Ag Center out here in, in Vincennes, Indiana. First thing I'd like to talk about is the types of equipment that one might use to apply pesticides to tomatoes in a greenhouse like you see in back of me. Certainly this would be true for other commodities, other vegetable crops. So the first piece of equipment I want to talk about today is what I call a garden sprayer. It's easily found at a hardware store or our garden center, for example. It has uh, usually a two gallon, one or two gallon tank. Uh, it can uh, be easily pumped up like this to apply pressure so that it can be uh, sprayed. The, uh, usually you'll find it with a one type sprayer like this. Uh, sometimes it's brass, as in this case, or, or, a, or a plastic. And the nozzle is e easily adjustable from a stream to a sprayer. The advantages of, of, the, uh, of, of this type of sprayer, this garden sprayer, is it's, it's easy to find, uh, it's, it's, it's cheap, and, and it's easy to use. Um, however, there, there are, are several disadvantages as well. One of the disadvantages of using a garden sprayer like this to apply pesticides is the, the rate of the, the, the volume of the, the liquid that comes out of here will depend on whether the nozzle is in the spray position or whether it's in the stream position. And since the nozzle can be bumped easily, then, then, then that means that the output of the pesticide is going to be different. And since the label will specify, usually on a per acre basis, then, then this is going to be a problem. We're going to pump it up. And then I'm going to measure the volume of the application uh, in, in, a, in a graduated cylinder. We're going to measure the volume for 20 seconds. I don't know if you can tell, but this is in, in the spray position. We have about uh, 85 uh, milliliters or cubic centimeters of water. Now I'm going to start over. I'm going to pump it up the same number of times. And I don't know if you can tell there, but it's coming out in a stream. Now you probably would not apply this as a stream to your, to your tomatoes, for example. However, it might be easy to bump this so, so it, it changed from a stream in, into something different. And there we have about 210 mils, and it's pretty easy to see that uh, you get different amounts of liquid out of this uh, garden sprayer depending on whether it's a stream or a spray. Another disadvantage of using a garden sprayer to apply pesticides is that pressure decreases, the volume decreases, and so that will make the application of the pesticide inaccurate. We're in the spray position, we're, we're applying it. This is five uh, pumps, and so we're going to see how much volume comes out in, in 20 seconds. And then I'll compare it, I'll pump it up again to 15 times and, and, and try it again. I'm going to pump it up 15 times. Now I'm going to do it again for 20 seconds. So this has been pumped up 15 times and we're going to see it, how much volume there is compared to when I only pumped it up five times. Okay, we can see here we've got about 80 mils here with about 60 mils here. So the, the more pressure when we pump it up 15 times we got more volume out of the garden sprayer than when we pumped it up five times. So as I'm moving along and spraying with, with the sprayer, uh, the, the pressure is going to decrease and the volume coming out is going to decrease. So it would be very difficult to apply pesticides accurately uh, with the garden sprayer for that reason. As an alternative to using a garden sprayer, what I'd like to talk about now is the use of a backpack sprayer to apply pesticides like for example to the greenhouse in back of me. So this, this, gar this backpack sprayer has, they'll come for four to five, for example, uh, gallon capacity. Uh, this one uh, came with a, a, a wand application. I've uh, purchased a boom because I think it'll be easier to, to apply as, as we'll see a little bit later. Uh, 
notable here is uh, we have a pump that when it's worn on my back can be applied constantly and this will keep the pressure constant. Uh, that means that uh, that overcomes a disadvantage that we talked about with a garden sprayer where the pressure will go down over time because we can keep pumping it as we uh, spray. You'll also notice that we have a, a pressure gauge here and by, by pumping it constantly uh, we, we can look at the pressure here to, to notice uh, whether that pressure is staying constant or not. Another thing that I like about a backpack sprayer is, is the nozzles here. Uh, these are interchangeable, uh, but these are uh, made, they're designed for the application of pesticides, um, whereas the, the adjustable nozzle that we saw with the backpack sprayer really is not designed for, uh, for pesticide application, and this will remain constant through the entire application process. Mm -hmm.